Good evening, everybody. Tiffany from Dragonfly Studios here. I'm going to do a flip through on this wonderful, wonderful finished journal that I just got done. Uh, a co worker of mine ordered it, and I have spent many, many hours stuffing it. As you can see, it's a, it's a little bit chonky. Um, making it beautiful. She requested something a little more bohemian and uh, so this is what I've come up with her for her and so I'm just gonna do a flip through and kind of run you through some of the things that I did and maybe you'll get some inspiration for journals of your own. Um, it does have a cloth cover. I created uh, the, the book I created the whole thing from well from junk. Uh, there's recycled materials in here and then this is just a plain cotton fabric that I used for, for wrapping. It only has one signature on the inside and then the ribbon is attached on the outside and it is uh, the lace rather is its enclosure uh, or for its enclosure I created a little bookmark for her. She can either use it in this journal or in reading. Um, it's got a glass stone on the outside of it. I did give it some some spine jewelry or some spine dangles, whatever you'd like to call them. There's one here on the bottom. It's just some recycled jewelry that I found, I think, at a thrift store. And then on the top, uh, the signatures are bound with wax, uh, twine, wax coated twine. So where they're tied on the inside, I brought it out the top and I just added some glass beads. All right, let's untie it and see what's inside. I had a lot of fun making this. It's my first first journal. It's my first order through my through my studios and um, yeah I'm looking looking forward to making quite a bit more of these. So let's just open it up here. So on the inside I've got some very uh, shabby chic um, paneling. Uh, just with some lace attached and then I did some stamps she's she loves daisies so I created some a journaling card with a little pocket tuck here um, journal space journal space I've got some lace edging on this page more journal space a place to write here with some butterfly stickers and this was just a print that I found online so I printed it off um, I did use an envelope uh, for this. I flipped the envelope inside out so that the uh, privacy setting stuff for privacy covering was on the outside. It did have a window, so I just attached a picture of some daisies and a vase and gave it a nifty little frame. I just have some blank paper uh, folded up on the inside that, that the user can use for whatever, decorate it with or whatnot. There's two pages in there. And then over here I gave it a little corner tuck with some yellow to go along with the daisy theme. And another little note card for whatever she would like. Um, this is a decorated paper clip with a, a side fold card. It's got a stamp on the inside just with a little tassel. And then this is just more journaling space on a blank page. And it just clips onto the side. So not only is it utilitarian but also a little bit, little bit pretty. There we go, there's that. And then there's just a sticker with some saying. Uh, more journaling space or space for photographs or whatnot. This is a journaling card that I used photo tags to attach so she could write here or she could write here. And again, daisies. Uh, that's what the the buyer or the purchaser requested. So that's what that's the theme I went with. And I just found some some images from a couple of free sites that I use and printed those off. This was not this difficult to get in here the first time I did it. Ah, get in there. Get in there. Okay. And then that's how that sits. And then this is a pocket that I created out of um, a folded up page um, that I just glued down one side. It's just got a journaling card on the inside. Um, again with the flowers and I used lace, um, same lace that I used over here on the, the side. I just folded it around and made a little tag. And then I gave her a fabric uh, lift or flip um, and some journaling space on the inside. She also happens to like chickens, so I included chickens in her in her journal. She's got a little bottom tuck here that she can put photographs or recipe cards or what have you. Um, I did include dragonflies in with her spread and some daisies. Um, she's a big Jimi Hendrix fan, so I did that. This is just a little hidden paper clip that I created. Um, 
so yeah it's just on a on a little ticket so it's um it's utilitarian and um doesn't just stick out as a as a paper clip um, I gave it a little, this has a little wrap around belly band from one page to the next. And um, inside the belly band, I created a little notebook for the user to use. And she can just use this at will. She can rip those off there and give them to someone or, or keep them all together. It's totally up to her. And then on this side, there's just another little note card that I created. Uh, pink and purple are some of her favorite colors, so I tried to incorporate those vintage notebook page just for writing this is a coffee dyed um, coffee filter and a little paper lace doily and then she's got I created another um, decorative paper clip over here it also has a dangle on it um, it just has this little cloth flower on both sides and again she likes chickens just a little blank card for writing and then I included some purple daisies and some sunflowers this just clips on there to keep it in place there we go and then she requested tiger lilies so what i created here is a riding board this is the cover from a 1920 piece of jazz music and then i printed off this beautiful picture of a tiger lily so this kind of gives the user something you can put this underneath the page to write on because our junk journals get though they're, they're chunky and they're bumpy and they're lumpy and you know as they should be and so this just gives the writer it's a it's pretty thick um and it can just be stored right in the journal i used a piece of measuring tape as a tab and i just left these pages open they were too pretty to cover up with stuff um, more journaling space. Here's the other side of that vintage music paper. Um, I created a fold out envelope flap um, and tucked a little few little cards in there for journaling for her and they can be stored in there or placed in other places in the journal once it's once it's hers it's hers to do with that as she wants to and I left these blank I was gonna stamp on them but I thought you know let's let's give her some space to write and then we flip it over and we have this little card that pulls out here and then this is another hidden paper clip that I just folded over a uh, sunflower on. And then you pull this out and this out and there's a stamp behind all of it. So this little pocket is just, it's just made from a, from a clear a, an envelope box. I think it was a cereal box or something like that that had a, that had a little window in it. I swear this is, this was not this difficult when I put this together. There we go. And then we've got a vintage map with some old postcards in here. This one's from 1937. This one's from 1921. Thought those might be fun for her to look at and to have. And then more vintage map. I've got some old stamps here. And then I just put a little sticker stamp on the other side. Journaling space, journaling space. Here's the other side of that card folded in half and I just gave her a little journaling card in here and um, and some love. Everybody needs some love. Um, journaling page. This is a fold down pocket again with her with her chickens on it and um, this is Jimi Hendrix in the back and this is a wonderful saying. I'm not going to show you that because that's kind of for her. And then I put on the mermaid because she's very mermaid like if you knew this person. And um, this is just a pocket with a journaling card in it and just some little decoration. Here's another pocket with a couple pages folded into it for her to use as she wants to. This just has a couple of little tags in it in another little pocket that I um, embellished with a stamp. Oh, we're getting, getting a little chunky there on the spine. And then journaling page, little girl holding some purple flowers, journaling page. And then I created a lift for, or a, a, yeah, I guess a lift, I'm not sure, a flap, um, out of a heart doily on some paper, and I just glued it in so she can, she can hide her thoughts there if she so chooses. And then there's another little tuck over here with more flowers because, um, well, she really likes flowers. This is a card. It's not a, it's not a card, but it's just a little card for her to journal on. And then there's the back side. I didn't put any envelopes or any tucks or anything on the inside jacket covers um, because I wanted that the bulk of that to be in the book itself. And then there's the back of it. So yeah, I'm going to give this to her tomorrow and hopefully she loves it. And um, if she uses it, great. If she puts it on a shelf and just has it, then that's great too. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more, I am going to do a tutorial on all of the things that you see in here. Um, if you're just getting starting, if you're started, if you're, you're new to all of this and you want to learn 
um, you can come craft with me. I do post videos quite often. I'm hoping to get on a much more regular schedule with that. So yeah, if you want to if you want to see more and, and be around for the fun stuff, then hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a share. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.